All right, the goal is to score the most points by correctly interpreting the words and phrases that are given by the teams. And so you form two teams. The team's names are Team Glad and Team Mad. And if you have an odd number of players, the extra player is the permanent judge. And they are not on either team, but will always stand next to the poet and use the no stick to enforce the rules. And so we sit around the table in alternating team positions, so on opposite sides, and then Team Glad goes first. They pick a player from their team to be the first Neanderthal poet, and then puts the poet point slate in front of them like this. This is the digraph. Diagram, sorry, I accidentally said digraph. Okay, so Team Glad goes first, they pick their Neanderthal poet, and then the poet chooses which side of the card the players will read from, okay? So it will either be the gray or the orange for the whole game. And a player from Team Mad who can see the card in the poet's hand gets the no stick. That's if the teams are even. And so you set up the table like that. And then if you're the poet, the opposing team will flip the timer to start it so that you can begin trying to get your team to say either the one point word that's easier or the three point phrase that's harder. And no matter what, you have to use only one syllable words. And everyone on your team can shout out words at the same time um, when trying to guess the word or phrase. So they can, you can just feel free to just say it if you think you know what it is. And when someone is correct, say yes and put the card on the opposite spot on the poet point slate. Okay. And starting with the one point word, if you start with a one point word and get it correct, shout yes. And then you can either put your card in the one point spot or you can try for the three point phrase. However, if along the way you accidentally break any rules, you lose the earned point and must put the card in the oops point spot. And starting with the three point phrase, if you start with the three point phrase and your team says the one point word shout, You, or you shout yes still, and following the rules above as if you had started with the one point word. So either way, no matter what you start with, you can choose to either get the other points from the other side or put the points that you earned down on the point slate. Do you get that? Okay. Okay, now if you want to skip a card before earning any points, you can say skip and put that card on the oops point spot of the poet point slate. But that that's your turn if you choose to do that. Um. So in all cases, you draw a new poetry card and you can only speak using the words with one syllable. 
You can say any word on your card after a guesser has said it, but never before. So you can't ever say anything that has the word in it. You can't say any word, part of any word, or any form of a word that is on the poetry card. So do we get that? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't use gestures. Do you know what gestures are? You, you can't use movement. So you can't move any part of your body besides your mouth. Okay. You can't use sounds like, you can't say sounds like or rhymes with. You can't do an, ex, an explanation like that. It's like a simile. You can't do a simile or a analogy because then it's pretty much saying the word and then it makes it so that everyone can understand what it is. So you can't use initials or abbreviations and you can't use other languages. Okay, so the no stick is for those rules. And when it is the other team's turn, Grab the no stick and stand beside the poet. And if they violate any of those rules above, then you shout no and hit them gently with the no stick. The poet must then put the poetry card in their hand on the oops point spot. Ending your turn. Each poet's turn continues until the timer runs out, okay? So every time the timer runs out, it's the next poet's turn. So no matter if they earn the points or not, or guessed it or not, then they can either say the what it is or say yes. Okay. So... Let's do a practice round really fast. This thing. Okay, so let's do a practice round first. So you know all the rules, but before playing, try one practice and it will help us get it. It better okay so this thing pick up dirt shovel I use to make floor nice mop oh, it uh, yeah you just keep oh. going until oh. I say yes oh my bad um <laughs> broom Vacuum. Yes. Okay, so the timer is still going, and so I am going to choose to go with the phrase. Okay. Okay, next word is man who job is to wash? It's a phrase? Yeah, it goes along with the other oh. part of the cards. Next word is man who job is to wash. attendant I don't know I'm lost uh, uh, you have some time still 
the next word is man who job is to wash. So the next word is is part of the phrase? Pause. It's stuck. Uh, the phrase is, it was saying the next word, like, because you already guessed vacuum. Oh, so that, the next, that part, but the, the next word The next word, count. next word is man who job is to wash, so vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner? Yeah, because the first one was vacuum. And so the second word's cleaner? The second one is a phrase. Let me check it out. But look at the top one, it will kind of help you because. So you can reach out. Yeah, I did burn. Vacuum cleaner. See the but next how is word. That the man, though. You know, a man who does a job, or who job, whose job is to wash. He's a cleaner. Also a cleaner. Okay. Do you I get it? it? I did get it. Okay. All right. So let's start, and you can draw and choose whether you want the green, or sorry, the yellow or the orange side. Orange or gray. Orange or gray. Oh yeah, the orange or gray. And then okay, the, there's the one point word or the three point phrase uh, or both if I get them correct. And so, do you remember the rules? What are they? I have to do uh, explain it to you with one syllable words. Yes. And you have to guess it. And what are the can'ts? What are the rules that you can't do or oh, you, you get hit by the no? No similes, no like uh, initials. No breaking up words. No breaking up the words. No um, different language. Yes. Okay. Language. Okay. All right. Let's start playing. All right. I will start the timer. Place <laughs> where we live. Place where we live. Home. Um, warehouse warehouse is City. Placed. Utah. Land. Earth. Land. Land. Right, yes. So that was a yes. Okay, so now uh, we'll do the uh, um, phrase. The phrase. So land's the first word. So next word is. Oh, man, that's hard. Um, Landslide? I ran. Oh. I ran from home. I left my fam. Oh, oh you messed up. I messed up. Meh. So now you don't Meh. get it. Dang. It's landscape. Escape is what I meant. I left home. I escaped. Oh. How do you say escape? Like. I. That's hard. Escape. I <laughs> found my way out of jail. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> I. I found my way out of jail through trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
I was still recording. Okay.